What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and I got a question for you. Let me know your thoughts. What if we stopped the $40 billion of Ukrainian aid that's going out, which we have heard has just happened, and instead we used it towards more stimulus checks? A lot of people are saying, this is maybe something we should take into consideration. I'm it's like everything gets done for Ukraine like this, like that, billions out the door like yeah. this. And meanwhile, Americans are looking around <laughs> like, hey, Congress, yeah. what about us? I'm going to be sharing with you the latest articles. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, take a look, you guys. Headlines coming out like this. Rand Paul blocks the quick passage of the $40 billion Ukrainian aid package. The legislation has been approved overwhelmingly in the House with strong bipartisan support from both Republicans and Democrats. But he's saying no. And I'm going to share with you what exactly he had to say directly from him so you can see it for yourself. He's going to say, why are we sending out all of this money adding to inflation to another country when we've got our own issues here in the United States. And a lot of people are saying we need to take care of our domestic economic issues, and maybe send out some stimulus checks. And take a look, you guys, just coming out a little while ago, U.S. money given to Ukraine compared to stimulus checks and border security. How much is it actually costing? Well, I'm going to be sharing with you what they're saying, and we're going to be taking a look at video footage, breaking down everything that's unfolding right now with stimulus checks, Ukrainian aid, and all these provisions. And we're hearing that President Joe Biden, if you missed my last video, he's doubling down, saying that we need this now more than ever because cases are starting to ramp up. They're concerned of a new variant that's going to be coming. We need more stimulus provisions, they're saying, for vaccines and therapeutics to ward this off. Also, supply chain issues, lockdowns in China that are exasperating it. We've got a run on gas, on food. Baby formula is missing from stores, and they're saying that we need to take care of our economic issues here at home. Let me know your thoughts, you guys, but let's dive into the video footage and the articles, get you caught up on the latest. But before we do, also wanted to mention, keep an eye out on my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance, just in case you want to come up with your own stimulus checks, in case the government takes a really long time to get out theirs. Also, if you appreciate the updates here on this channel, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out if you think it could help out other people staying informed. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date as well, totally free, why not come join the Ram Fam? All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. Hop onto Instagram, shoot me a DM at SteveRam3. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive into the latest on Ukrainian aid being blocked and the consideration of more domestic stimulus. So, link in the description below as we're going to be reading, Rand Paul blocks the quick passage of the $40 billion Ukrainian aid package, which we heard had bipartisan support. Take a look, you guys. Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul defied leaders of both parties on Thursday, single-handedly delaying until next week Senate approval of an additional $40 billion to help out Ukraine and its allies withstand Russia's three-month-old invasion. Now, with the Senate poised to debate and vote on the package of military and economic aid, Paul denied leaders the unanimous agreement that they needed to proceed. The bipartisan measure, backed by President Joe Biden, underscores U.S. determination to reinforce its support for Ukraine's outnumbered forces and the legislation has been approved overwhelmingly by the House and has strong bipartisan support in the Senate from Republicans and Democrats. Final passage is not in doubt. However, he is delaying, and let's take a look at what he had to say. Senator from Kentucky. Reserving the right to object, my oath of office is to the U.S. Constitution, not to any foreign nation, and no matter how sympathetic the cause my oath of office is to the national security of the United States of America. We cannot save Ukraine by dooming the U.S. economy. This bill under consideration would spend $40 billion. This is the second spending bill for Ukraine in two months. And this bill is three times larger than the first. There you have it, you guys. Now let me know, do you agree or disagree with what Rand Paul just said? Now also, we have an update on what Lindsey Graham thinks about this as well, and he's going to be breaking down this. Take a look, you guys. Let's turn to Senator Lindsey Graham, South Carolina. <laughs> Senator, you know how we feel about this. We want to help Ukraine, obviously. But yeah. it goes out the door so fast. Like, everything gets done for Ukraine like this, like that. Billions out the door like yeah. this. And meanwhile, Americans are looking around like, hey, Congress, yeah. what about us? Do you feel that? Hey, I totally, I, like I totally get it. Here's the problem with Ukraine. 
they run out of money in terms of buying weapons, I think, at the, uh, the middle of May. So the Ukrainian army is delivering a whoop-ass on the Russian army. They're about to run out of uh, uh, ammunition. They're not asking for any soldiers. They're not asking for us to take over the skies anymore. I They're know, just asking for weapons. I know, but we're getting our weapons. asses whooped here, Senator. You know that. Come on. Yeah. And we should have gotten you that know, but weaponry out sure. to them a year ago when we saw the buildup oh, coming. Oh, boy. Amen. Common sense tells you that Putin's not going to stop in Ukraine. Common sense tells you he was going to invade. Well, the people running the border are all... Ear Lens is a completely different concept on a hearing solution. It works by bringing a sound signal. Also are the ones trying to prevent Putin from going into Ukraine. If I thought pulling the plug on Ukraine would make any problem better here... Oh, Coming. boy. Amen. Common sense tells you that Putin's not going to stop in Ukraine. Common sense tells you he was going to invade. Well, the people running the border are also the ones trying to prevent Putin from going into Ukraine. If I thought pulling the plug on Ukraine would make any problem better here, I would entertain it. But our problems here don't get better by allowing Putin to win in Ukraine because he won't stop. Yeah, but can't Here's we do both, news. Senator? We actually can stop. Can't we do yeah, fast totally, track for totally, America? Totally. Everything's fast track totally. for overseas, but Absolutely. can we fast track it here? You know, listen, I'm with you. Why don't we fast track changing our laws at the border? Why don't we fast track oil and gas, right? right? Why don't we drill for oil and gas that we own? Listen, we don't have the Congress as Republicans. Everything you say, I agree with. Listen, you understand the importance of getting Putin stopped in Ukraine because he's going to keep going. China will take Taiwan. But if the Ukrainian military can stop him in the Ukraine without any American soldiers, that's a great day for freedom. That's a great day for America. But I am with you. I wish we would do more on the energy front. Does it make any sense to shut down oil and gas drilling in America and be more dependent on Russia and Iran? It makes absolutely no sense. But here's what I, I want to tell your listeners. If if we can win in Ukraine, and I think we can, we can stop Putin, the world gets better overnight. If he takes Ukraine, he doesn't get prosecuted as a war criminal, he'll keep going, he wants to rewrite the map of Europe, and China is just waiting to see what to do with Taiwan. All the chips in the world for our computer high-tech industry comes from Taiwan. So there's a lot at stake here, but I can't argue with I'm not trying to argue with you that we should be doing more here at home. No, we should right. have so rational we border agree. policies. We don't. So there you have it. Now, let me know your thoughts. What if we actually took this $40 billion that's being blocked and instead of using it for Ukraine, we use it to help out with stimulus checks? Take a look at this article, you guys. Link in the description below. U.S. money given to Ukraine compared to stimulus checks and border security. The article says that the U.S. The U.S. House of Representatives approved a new aid package for Ukraine of almost $40 billion on Thursday that adds to a previously approved aid measure to help Ukraine fight the Russian invasion. Now, the new aid package was opposed by 57 Republican members of the House, with some referring to the U.S.-Mexico border in explaining their opposition to the aid, while some on social media also complained that President Joe Biden's administration was providing funding to Ukraine, but not further stimulus checks to America. While the amount of the U.S. aid is expected to head to Ukraine is substantial, it is dwarfed by the funds that have been dispersed by the IRS over the course of the last three stimulus payments. So they're saying stimulus checks are significantly more expensive than what's going to Ukraine. But we're hearing a lot of people arguing, well, if we're going to be doing spending that's going to add to our inflation, we should make it count here domestically. Let me know your thoughts, but take a look, you guys, aid to Ukraine. It says that in March, Congress approved $13.6 billion. Now, in addition to that, they're trying to add another $39.8 for a total of almost $53.4 billion to go out to Ukraine. Now, jumping down stimulus checks, it says the IRS reported in its progress update of fiscal in the fiscal year of 2021 that it had paid out more than $800 billion to Americans across the nation with three stimulus checks in 2020 and 2021. So, 800 billion compared to 50 billion. So the Ukrainian aid is not even a tenth of what has gone out for stimulus checks. However, the argument is that they should send those out and also they should use untapped funds from previous stimulus packages. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. Uh, should we be using this money for stimulus checks? Should we have no more spending whatsoever to stop inflation? 
How are we going to resolve this? Should we use those untapped funds from previous stimulus packages? Should the president just do executive orders and executive actions to help out domestically? Uh, let me know what you think. So there you have it, you guys. A lot going on. We've got state, county, and city stimulus checks for gas, child tax credits going out. Also, we're going to be seeing what they do on a federal level. I will keep you up to date here on the channel. And this is all going down during a midterm election year. And Democrats who are in full control want to stay in control. So we're hearing they're going to be doing everything they can to pass some sort of legislation to incentivize and remind voters that they'd like to stay in power and that they should vote in their favor. So we're hearing it's very likely legislation and executive orders are on the horizon. I will keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Just takes a second. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. I'll let you know everything going on. Just smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3 and consider joining my second channel channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.